Welcome to Blue Eddy Support. Today we'll show you how to enhance your EP500 Pro's capacity by connecting it to a battery pack. With its impressive 5120 watt hours, the EP500 Pro already meets substantial home backup needs, but sometimes you might need even more power. We offer two great expansion batteries for this, the B230 and the B300. Both work perfectly with the EP500 Pro, and it's super easy to add extra capacity. The setup is the same for both models. In this video we'll use B230 as an example to walk you through the connection and configuration. Let's get started. Before you start, grab your B230. And the cables you need, the P090D to MC4 cable and the MC4 to aviation cable. You can find these on our website. Before connecting, ensure the B230 is in good condition. All ports are dry and clear. And most importantly, always set up in a safe environment. Make sure the B230 is powered off. If the indicator on the power button lights up, press and hold the button until the light turns off. Connect the P090D end of this cable to the B230. You should hear a click when it's securely connected. Now, connect the MC4 to aviation cable. Match the red PV negative connector from the P090D cable to the red DC1 positive on the MC4 to aviation cable, and the black connector to the black DC1 negative. Plug the aviation connector into the DC input port on the EP500 Pro. Make sure the white mark on the connector faces up, and twist the cap clockwise until it's tight. Now let's set up your EP500 Pro. Tap, Settings on the left side of the screen. Then find the DC1 input source at the bottom, and set it to others. Next, press the power button on the B230 to turn it on. The EP500 Pro will now receive power from the battery pack, boosting the total capacity from 5,120 watt-hours to 7,168 watt-hours. Depending on your setup, you can get different capacity boosts. Choose the option that best meets your needs. You can find links to purchase battery packs in the video description. Please note that you need to set both DC1 input source and DC2 input source to others when connecting two batteries. For more other power station tips and tricks and etc. Head over to our website or check out our video playlist. See you next time.